I assume that Herbie is participating as well. Herbie, are you helping James or making your own? I'm making my own. Making your own, good. Good stuff. And then, I guess we should probably introduce you to the third member of our team, since this is how it's playing out this afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Tristan. And on camera, I've got Sebastian, who's just rigging up for our bushwalk this morning. <laughs> Wait, afternoon? It is the afternoon. <laughs> and there's Fergus at the back. The whole team's come We're together. All, yeah. Let's get the only started. poor person who's not on camera is Craig. Camera, <laughs> camera. Craig is busy directing the camera. Right. Can I jump off then, Lou? Tristan will be the only one with an ability to communicate with final control, but off we go. We're going to build some statues. Does it smell? It's so bad. Dumb. It's so bad. Okay, yeah, I need some... Wait, I might go that side. Okay. Out a bit. Yeah, mine's. We we'll have to do this relatively quickly, or this is gonna be. Be a big mess. My mud's not sticking. We're all gonna end up with balls of mud. This is not quite as pliable as I thought it might. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you did choose the trickiest animal. I know, why? Why did you let me do this? Also because my animal needs to be slim. Yeah. Do you spread this down? Do you want to try it? Does it? Maybe what are you doing? Because I feel like you're big and bulky. Well, it might be. I feel like Herbie's already way ahead here. <laughs> I feel like Herbie's going to be the winner. We probably all knew that before. Oh no. <laughs> I'm battling full stop. I might need to come to that mud. I've got a head. Yes. Just you dry over there. Don't go anywhere. Alright. There we go. Right. So we are trying to mold our little animals. I think Herbie at this stage is definitely. Oh no, I've got tail f just fell off. That's not gone well at all. Things have gone. In the world. No, no, it's not, James. And I think I've made a fatal error and gotten the wet clay, which is. It is a fatal error. So Kyle would like to know: Has any of us ever discovered a new animal? Um, Anyone? No, I have never discovered a new animal. No, me, me neither. You know, Kai, can you can Kai hear me? Kyle. Kyle. Can yes, you I'll come closer. Hold on, James. Kyle, this is going we to look have very all odd. found many things that probably haven't been described, and those are many of the insects that we have found uh, could possibly have not ever been given a name because there are so many different kinds of insects that have never been given a name. So, although I'm sure you're thinking of something like a mammal, uh, yes, we could easily have found uh, a few animals that have never been described before. So, Ian wants to know what the most endangered species that we get here is. Thoughts? I think the most endangered species that we get here might be what I'm building. Yes, I think actually... <laughs> it's not going to be a festival body. <laughs> it's very good, James. Well done. It's, it's, it's 
it needs to it needs to dry a little bit. I feel like once it dries, it's going to it's going to feel. Yes, we almost need a skeleton. What about a skeleton, James? Like I feel like skeleton is not a bad idea. I feel like a bit of maybe a stick or something in amongst everything. Well, I, f I feel like Herbie may have done this before. I feel like Herbie may have been doing this for his life. Yes, and that's... <laughs> they want to know if you're making a sea cucumber, Herbie. <laughs> Herbie, are you making a sea cucumber? <laughs> no. No, what are you making, Herbie? An elephant. Or a sea cucumber. Maybe. Or we, do we have to wait and see? Okay. I'm going for a little clay light effect at this stage. Now, for those of you who don't know what clay light is, here in South Africa, when we were naughty little boys, what we used to do is we used to get a stick and used to find clay like this, and you would put it on the end of the stick and then you would throw it at each other. And it used to come off with quite a bit of force, and it was actually quite painful to be hit. Did you ever play, James? No, 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 I was from the city. <laughs> city boys don't do such things. Okay. Yes, I have been coated. So, Skylar, elephants like to play in the mud because it's good for their skin. It's like a, going for a bath for us and where you wash yourself and you get rid of all the dirt and things like that. I know it sounds very funny and that they play in the mud to make themselves cleaner, but it basically gets rid of all the parasites that they have on them. So, they pick up little things like ticks and mites and all other kinds of parasites that stick to them and try and feed off their blood. And so, when they go and rub up in the mud, it gets stuck to their skin and then they go and rub onto a tree and they can get rid of all of those parasites. So that's why they go into the mud. They're very clever animals. It's not like us. We use all kinds of other things to get rid of our parasites, don't we, James? Yes, yes. Many kinds of hair products. <laughs> work. I've gone bald. <laughs> I was about to say, James, have you had any experience with hair products or not so much? I did try to use hair products once when I was going bald in the attempt to oh. not go bald. Unfortunately, that did not work. Did it not work? No. I'm sorry, James. Unfortunately, it did not work. Oh. I continued to go bald. That feels like this could be... I've got eyes for mine already. Declan, I'm not sure how big a giant beetle would be. You're wondering, how, have I ever seen a giant beetle? Well, we do get quite large beetles out here, don't we, James? We get very, very big beetles called longhorn beetles, click beetles, maybe like James's larval beetle that he's building over yeah, there. I'm, I'm, building a I'm building a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> it almost looks a bit crocodile-like, a crocodile on a sad day. Like <laughs> yeah, but you've got proper clay there. Yes, how did he make it? I don't, I'm, I'm fascinated by Herbert's ability to make clay. But getting back to the giant beetle, we get big dung beetles as well. So they're about, the, some of them are almost the size of my palm. My palm is now very dirty, so please excuse that. But some of our beetles will easily be as long as this, with legs coming off and big sort of formations on their head. We even get one called a rhino beetle. Now the rhino beetle is called that because it's got these big sort of protrusions off its face that look just like a rhino. So those are pretty cool as well, and they get really large. What other large beetles do we get? Um, giant ground beetles. Giant ground beetles. Giant click beetle. Giant click beetle. That's another big one. Goliath. Goliath beetle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Over is finished, everybody. Second Over is laughing. <laughs> Herbert is finished and he's done very, very well. Lou, I would love to t ask you to say that again, but I can't double click on my radio with my hands, so please can you just ask that question again for me, please? I'm nearly done. So, Annie, you're wondering how elephants stay warm without a fur coat. Well, the temperatures here in Africa are quite warm. This afternoon it's about, what was it this afternoon, Jen? 20, 79 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's quite warm this afternoon. So it's very seldom that it gets too cold for the elephants. And remember, they've got thick skin on their body, and so they're able to stay warm like that. Now, Seb, stop looking at my things because they're not ready yet. You have to wait until I'm I'm at a point where I can show you what is going on. Because now I've found what I'm looking for. I've found the right clay. Jamie, how are you doing that side? You're very quiet, which worries me. Yes. 
Don't worry, Jamie, you are far better off than what I am currently. Yeah, I see you've built a blob. <laughs> it's a sea slug as well. Sea slug. Isn't there an endangered species of slug that we could just go for? No, but can yeah. we all make one? Yes. It's been a disaster after starting I know, as well. <laughs> Jamie, there are many questions as to what that could actually be. Now I'm trying to cover some grass. Herbert is even having a meal. <laughs> <laughs> That's how far ahead he is, James. And I suppose we shouldn't laugh because we should all be in that same... Oh, two minutes. That's a bit of a rush, I two think. Two minutes? <laughs> I was planning on being here for the whole drive. <laughs> oh, this has all gone pear-shaped. I think I have a chance to come second. I, I definitely think so, because I'm definitely not going to win, James. That's, that is a absolute... If I come second in this art contest, my mother will be so proud of me. I have. Oh dear, hang on, the eye's fallen now. Can I retire from this competition? Because it's not gone well. No, no, no retiring, you've got to submit your artwork. The there we go. I just need to do a bit of drawing on mine. Good guy, I'm Jed. Thank you, thank you, Heavy. I'm not entirely sure mine is even vaguely recognizable as an animal wife. Yeah, how, do, how does mine look? How do our Newland Elementary have got some guesses? Oh no, Jamie, what has gone on there? Oh no, that the guesses for the animals that we've built. Right, good, yes. An elephant? An elephant, correct. A duck? Which I think must no, be mine is not a duck. Not yours, James. What are the other ones do I have now? Look at mine, mine is brilliant. I'm taking my... Herbert's obviously is the winner. Mine's head fell off. Oh dear. This is not a duck. That is not definitely not a duck. An anteater, yes, there's somebody... It is an anteater. Who said that? You're a genius. You can be my best friend for the whole day, if you want to be. Uh, it is something called a pangolin. And a pangolin, of course, a very deeply endangered animal, and it does eat ants. It is an anteater of sorts. And that's exactly what mine is. And it's about... Well, if I let it look at you like that, it's about that big. You see one? Well, a little bit bigger, actually. And it's got scales like an armadillo. You all know what an armadillo is. And it's got scales like an armadillo. I'm just going to put it next to Jamie to make her inspired, a.k.a. jealous. Oh, yes, I am. I'm very jealous. Well, like, James, you may have... Herbie's still got one that's eating. Herbert, what do you mean? Oh, a snake. Okay. I feel like mine might not stand, but we're going to try anyway. And I've done a little one because I was a bit rushed for time. So Manya wants to know if there's any turtles that are endangered. Well, here in South Africa, I'm not sure we do have, do we, James? Well, I think some of our sea turtles. Yes, yeah, sea turtles, but not here on land, I don't think. But I'll see turtles most definitely. So I think we've got uh, the leather, what's it, leatherback, is it? I think the leatherback. Is yes. Good. And the loggerhead turtle. Yes. The olive. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, there we go. I think we're all done. Okay. Let's, there we go, there's my contribution. Just, uh, oh no, it's breaking. You guys have to look after my wild dog because 
So I tried to build a wild dog, but he's broken in half. I'm going to have to do some mending work on this, but a wild dog is one of our most endangered predators that we have here, and so I don't think I'm going to actually be able to carry it on our bushwalk, so I think we might have to ask Jamie to look after it. Jamie, if you break my wild dog, you are in lots of trouble. Okay, I'll... But there you go. This was meant to be a rhinoceros, and its best side is probably there. <laughs> But it's not bad. You got the shape of the head well done. That was very but good. The head just fell off. I know, but it's. I know, but the shape is good, Jamie. Okay. Well done. All right, guys. I think that's it. I think it's time to yeah. carry on and actually do something constructive for this afternoon. Enough arts and crafts. We've now seen that none of us are in any way talented in sculpture, other than Herbie. Herbie is definitely the one that we need to watch out for and this is actually not even cleaning my hands one bit either I'm just making a mess all right you two I shall bid you a farewell I'll see you later thank you don't forget my wild dog behind right Herbie let's go let's go find some animals okay everybody now it's time to actually do some proper safari and see if we can't find anything interesting now on the bushwalk when we're out here we're going to go and start looking for all the little animals so we can look for insects and we're going to look for varying other little species of things and maybe if we're lucky we might bump into a big animal now I know the elephants are not too far away so I'm sure James or Jamie might head in that direction and they might go and try and see if they can't find those Ellie's to show all of you in the meantime we're going to go see if we can't find some lions and cubs we had a report that there was some lions around so we're gonna head in that area <laughs> 